Hello there everybody and welcome back to Tree of Tranquility. It's the day of our harvest festival so we are going to go and attend that today but there's a couple of other little miniature updates I just want to bring up. The first of which is that I went ahead and bought some new clothing. The house has now expanded. You can see it's a little bit bigger than the level 2 house. Not really enough to be all that noticeable. A little bit more space. I was able to place my dresser against this wall and I bought a couple of new outfits. I bought a green colored outfit that I'm wearing right now. I went ahead and I bought a purple outfit and I also bought a blue outfit. So I have three different colors here to choose from, but I personally kind of like the green, so I've been going with that for now. I also put on the brooch that I bought from the art festival and I think I'm going to bust out the wool hat come winter time. Just something to make things a little bit different and that's where a bulk of my money went. I'm going to check out my fridge here because I went ahead and I stored the tuna. So this was the fish I had talked about in the last video that you need to catch for one of our rainbows. And just to clarify, if you want to catch it off of the Waffle Town Beach, your fishing rod needs to be level 4 or level 5, hence why it's a little bit more difficult to catch using that method, whereas if you're catching it off of the Gull Islands, there are no special requirements for that. And I'm just going to go into my fish list here and just to look at its entry, you can see here that I was correct and we cannot catch this in summer. But you can catch this in every other season and you can see there that both of the locations are listed. And it is relatively rare, so if you're having difficulties finding that fish, then don't despair. You will eventually catch it. I've also gone ahead and I've cooked something for our festival. There is a cooking festival included with the harvest festival. Now, because I haven't done much cooking, the only thing I really know how to cook is the herb fish. But that will do me just fine. The results of the festival are sort of randomized from what I understand so I think that this is just a nice safe option and we may or may not win but we can certainly go in with that and see how we do. Now the house does look a little bit bigger on the outside but once again it's a little bit hard to tell that you've actually sort of expanded it from level 2 to level 3. And we have mail. Oh, we have two pieces of mail, in fact. One from Brownie Ranch. And we are now able to buy horses and goats, which is great. If we want to pick some of those up. And we have a letter from Town Hall. How are you doing? I hope all is well at the ranch. If your land starts to feel like it's getting cramped, I'd recommend buying more land. Come to Town Hall for details. It's not a bad idea to come and look through the Waffle Island residence list once in a while. It's a great resource to get to know people better. So that must have happened because we bought our first piece of land from Town Hall. So just a bit of a reminder there from Gil. Not that I needed it, but thanks I guess. I went ahead and harvested all of the flowers that I had and the last little bits of spinach, so... I'm just going to see if I can maybe get one more harvest of yams and eggplants out of here. And then we'll have to start thinking about what we're going to do for winter. Because the season is dangerously close to changing over. The other thing that happened is that I managed to befriend the adult bear that was blocking the way to the harvest goddess pond. I don't think we'll have enough time to actually go there today, so that will probably have to uh, happen the next update we do, but that was great because I don't have to save, uh, or I get to save time rather, not having to go and uh, give that bear gifts every single day. 
And I honestly didn't keep track of how many days I had spent giving the bear gifts, but I would say probably about a week I gave it two gifts per day and uh, it moved and I now have access to that new area, but I didn't go there because I didn't want to trigger the cutscene and have you guys miss that, so we'll definitely do that when we have time. Again, not sure if we'll have time today, but if we do, we'll certainly go do that, and if not, then we will definitely save it for another time. So moving on to our other field here, as you can see, I've sort of cleaned it up a little bit, and I planted what trees I had purchased. I had just kind of purchased one of each, and I think I'll still have space to plant maybe two or three more trees up in this area. I just hadn't gone ahead and purchased more um, at the time. I wanted to spend my day fishing and doing a couple of other things because it did actually use up quite a bit of stamina to clear this area out and to use the hoe to clear the land and whatnot. The good thing about trees is that they don't need to be watered once you put them down. You just have to wait for them to grow, pretty much. And that's about it. So we're just going to have to patiently wait to see when these trees are going to grow up fully. And I will definitely be making the time to fill out the rest of this field. I will put some more trees on here. I just wanted to sort of put down what I had in my inventory first. And so we're off to a good start there, I hope. The festival has started by now, so I'll go ahead and walk around and over to Brownie Ranch, which is where the festival takes place. And as usual, I'm going to hope, probably in vain, that there's going to be some people around the festival to talk to. So it's sort of like the animal festival that uh, takes place in the same area here in the central part of Brownie Ranch up near where the barn and the coop and stuff are. Ah, Dr. Jin entered Herb Fish too. Darn, well, we're in competition now, aren't we? So obviously this festival is all about honoring all of the fruits and vegetables that we can get from farming. Just, it's, I guess it'd kind of be like a Thanksgiving, maybe, equivalent, uh, that I can sort of think about. We can talk to Ruth here if we want to play our mini game for this festival, but once again, we're going to pass on that. We'll just have a chat with everybody that's here. And people will sort of share their recipes with us too, which is kind of nice. If you're not quite sure how to make something, you know, Jin, for example, said a fish, an herb, and an oven will make it, and that's pretty much exactly what the recipe is like. It looks like everyone's sort of interested in this cooking contest. Uh, lots of people have entered, it looks like, so we're definitely in for some competition. From what I understand, uh, Maya can't cook, though, so maybe we're not having to worry too much about her. So, Craig has a recipe for us, too. Put cabbage in the aging pot and let it pickle, and that's it. It's so easy, even slackers can do it. Oh, thanks, Craig, I appreciate it. And it looks like he's selling stuff at today's festival. All right, what do you got? He has fertilizer. He has buckwheat, uh, which we can purchase in advance if we'd like so that we can grow it next season. But you don't have to do that because you can buy this from Ruth. We have green bell seeds, which we can buy here if we want to so that we can grow these in winter. And we also have yellow herb seeds. And it looks like he has a variety of different fruits and vegetables for us. Just for fun, it might be a good idea to maybe grow some herb uh, 
seeds. I know I've said in the past that it seems kind of pointless to grow them, and a part of me kind of still feels that way. Um, the one good thing that growing herbs is good for is A, you can use them to dye your yarn, and the other thing is that certain characters like them as gifts, and they're relatively cheap to give up as gifts, so this could replace something more expensive that you could be buying. And maybe just for the sake of variety and for something to do, I'll go ahead and grab a couple bags and grow those in the winter season. And Hamilton also has a recipe for us. Boil potatoes in a pot. That's it. Sometimes you don't need any fancy ingredients to make a delicious dish. Oh, my thank you. Look at that. We got all these nice cooking tips. Some very, very beautiful, beautiful vegetables and fruits out on display here. That is also a very large eggplant. I'm not sure if some of these are real or if some of these are just on display. But it's a, it makes for a very, very impressive show, for sure. So if you want to enter the cooking competition, you would talk to Yolanda. And I think we have to actually talk to her while we are holding the items, so... Let's just go ahead and enter our dish. It can't hurt. So you'll give her the item, she'll confirm with you. And then we have to wait until about 5 o'clock for the results to be announced. Since we were late getting here, we don't actually have a long time to wait, which is great. Other than that, there really is not a whole lot to do, unfortunately. I kind of feel like this festival uh, wasn't too bad, just because at least all of the characters gave us something a little bit informative. They all sort of talked to us about the competition that they're all entering. It's kind of nice to see that we actually have a competition that we can all take part in, and some of them taught us their recipes for cooking, which is kind of nice. We have the usual mini game that we can enter. Oh, it looks like Ellie's here too. I wonder if she entered. We know she likes to bake. Maybe not cooking, I don't know, but it's interesting that she showed up kind of late. So if you just stay on the screen when five o'clock rolls around, you'll automatically be brought to the judging of the cooking contest. So if you want to walk around and talk with some of the animals or collect herbs or whatever it is you want to do, then you can do that without having to worry about missing the judging of the contest. And like I said, from what I've been able to gather, the contest is completely random. You can enter the contest with a failed dish and still win. So I really don't know what determines who wins, but all we can do is just hope that it turns out well and we win. And I guess we're about to find out, so let's see. Alright, so we got third, second, and first place. Looks like Anessa got third place this year. Even though she wasn't here, maybe her parents entered her dish for her. Second place goes to Pascal. Again, not here. I guess everybody in town entered their dishes, apparently. And then first place is, drum roll, yay, I win, oh sweet, well look at that. Well, I'm glad I won. I don't know if I'll win next year, but hey, can't complain about that. Now I've only ever lost not entered or won first place so i don't know if it is possible to win second or third place and get prizes or if it's just possible to win first and get that prize 
But if you do win, make sure that you go back and you speak to Hamilton. For whatever stupid reason, the festival will end and it'll kick you out of the screen and you'll have to actually return to the Brownie Ranch District here and you'll have to find Hamilton and track him down to claim your prize. I really do not understand why they wouldn't have just given it to you when you won. So by talking to Hamilton, we get 10 Bravo drinks. Now, I'm not entirely sure why they are called Bravo drinks, because that's not what they're called in-game, if you look in your inventory. We actually get 10 bottles of Bodegizer, which is great. This is a really, really good prize that we can store in our fridge or our toolbox. And that would definitely come in handy if we were planning on doing some mining or we were off far away from the island and we wanted to do some fishing or really anything that's going to take up a lot of our energy. Those drinks will fix us up quick and fast. So now that we have that, I'll go and store those and hopefully use them later on when I need them. And aside from the cooking contest and socializing and whatnot, I haven't been able to find if there's anything else that we can do at the Harvest Festival or not, but I'm gonna guess no. Didn't use up any stamina again today. I hate just leaving an entirely full stamina bar, but what do you do? We definitely have to take days out to just have some fun. Let our farmer have a little bit of rest. I'm sure she's tired of working all the time. So I go ahead and let the animals in before I forget. I'll store my drinks in the fridge. And I guess I can also put these seeds away for now because I don't need them until winter. And that is pretty much going to do it for today. We only have a few more days left in fall. Not entirely sure when I'm going to do another update, but hopefully before we have to say goodbye to the fall season and transition into winter time. Hope you guys have had fun at the festival. And hopefully I will see you all next time.